Looks like a thick chocolate bar, though. Like my women, thick and chocolatey. All right, today I'm gonna be trying Halloween candies that are slept on. Or I don't even know if they're slept on, to be honest. I haven't had like any of these. Let me take out my nerd tainers real quick. There we go. I can sound like not weird. All right, we're gonna start off with something simple though. We're gonna start off with fast break. I haven't had I haven't had many fast breaks. This is probably like my third one. Um, we do have like an interesting Kit Kat here, but we'll get to that anyways. Uh, I don't know why I keep like talking in the same way. Yeah. See, I thought there was a pretzel in these. Is that, is that a pretzel? Can't tell what that is. It's it, like I thought. I thought these had pretzels in them, so maybe I'm bugging. Maybe there is a pretzel, I just can't tell. Um, there might be though. No, I don't think there is. Isn't there something with pretzels in it that's like Reese's with like a pretzel in the same stuff? I don't even know. Maybe there is a pretzel, I'm just bugging, but I don't know. Um, we'll rate that a 8.3. That's really good, I like that. Next up, we'll try like something more tardy. We'll go on to the Nerds Gummy Clusters. I remember always like, going to the movie theater and getting like nerd rope. So these kind of look the same. I'm assuming it's the same, but I haven't even had a nerd rope in years. And those smell very sugary. Yeah, it's literally nerd ropes. It's like the Twizzler thing. I don't even know what it is. It's like a Twizzler thing in the inside with like nerds on the outside. Something that's fell out of the cup or out of the tree and sit in my car, I love that. Um, anyways. Yeah, it's, been, it's literally just a nerd rope. In the box. I remember this taste. They're good. I like them. We can't eat a lot of them because very sugary, very sweet. And it says tangy on here. I don't think it's tangy. I don't even really know what the word tangy means, but I know it's not that. Nerd ropes, or not nerd ropes, or nerd gummy clusters. I just keep saying ropes because it's like literally the same thing. There's bite size. Um, we'll give these a 7.3, 7.3, .3, the review for that one. I'm gonna do one of the ones I've never tried. I'm gonna do a payday. What are these? Peanut caramel bar. I like peanuts, I like caramel, so maybe I like a payday, I don't know. I've always, remember when I was a kid, I'd always get these like in my Halloween like bag, but I just never try them, never eat them, so. Anyways, payday. <sighs> that must be a sign I'm not trying this, because it's probably about to be us. Whoa, these look weird. It's literally this, <laughs> that's literally what it says it is. Very peanutty. Um, peanuts on it and Whatever you call it on the inside, the shower. Nah. That's not it. That is not it. We'll give this a 5.2. Not good at all. Kind of ass, to be honest. Almond Joy. Never tried one of these. Hopefully they're good. But like I said with the payday, probably not. All right, Almond Joy. This just smells bad. But it's, it doesn't smell awful. It smells like, um, what's that chocolate called? I used to, or not this chocolate, though. Um, Samoa's, the Girl Scout cookies. I remember always eating those because those used to be my favorite, but I never had an almond joy for some reason. Almond joy. I like almonds. I guess I like coconut because I like Samoa's and I like chocolate, obviously. So, anyways, almond joy. Never tried one. I'm scared. That's why I keep procrastinating. I'm just going to eat it. Oh. Nah. Nah. Oh. Almond joys are not good. Um, I see why people don't like them. I see why I've never tried one. Not it. I was at the grocery store and I was like looking for candies I've never tried and I guess Jell-O has moved on to making Jell-O pudding cups. So I have no idea what these are. These sound interesting. I'm not a big pudding guy. So see, this is what the thingy looks like. I don't know if you can see that good, but that, I guess. Should I put the whole thing? What if I don't like it? Whatever. I don't even want to swallow it. Like it's, let me chew. The chocolate is good. But putting on the inside just isn't good. It's not bad, but it's not good. It's not something I'd eat again. I don't even want to eat any more of these. Probably give them like one of my roommates or something, but those are not good. Um, I mean, like, I keep saying they're good and they're not good. Like, they're mid, I guess. We'll just like put it in the middle. It's not worth the calories for me at all. Um, we'll give that, wait, did I rate everything up? Okay, wait, I forgot to rate the almond joint. I forgot to rate the payday. Wait, did I? I think I rated the payday like a 5, 4.5 or something. Payday 4.5, not good. Actually, no, 3.3. We'll give it a 3.3 because it's even worse. We have the Almond Joy of 3.5 because it's like barely better. And then we're going to try Baby Ruth in a sec. Never had one of these. I'm going to just do that right now. Baby Ruth, see, these actually like sound good. I don't know. I actually have no idea why I've never tried one of these because like I always thought it was like at the same level as those. But the more I read it, it's like peanuts, caramel, Nugget. I, I know that it's like the stuff inside of, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's the stuff inside of, um, um, what's it called? Why can't I ever think of stuff? I, I, I can never think of stuff like the stuff that I want to say, that I want to say. Um, like Three Musketeers, it's like the stuff inside of that, I think. So, Baby Ruth, 
Never tried one. I wonder if it's like named after um, Babe Ruth. Yeah, <laughs> it's gotta be. That's gotta be named after Babe Ruth. I wonder if his family like gets money off this still, so, or like who owns it. I have no idea. But anyways, Baby Ruth. Um, I'm actually kind of excited to try this. Baby Ruth, Baby Ruth. I'm not gonna eat it, eat it all. I mean, it is good. So I'll give it a seven seven. But things just keep falling on my car from. The tree right there. This is like big ass tree. Whatever. We'll try the force mint plus dark chocolate. I'm not a dark chocolate guy. I'm gonna be honest. But this was kind of like an ex <coughs> this was kind of like an expensive like candy bar. So I'm like, you know what? If it's like expensive, it's probably like the better quality. So it's got to be like better than the dark chocolate Hershey's. But I think dark chocolate's good for your brain too. Kind of like when I ate all those blueberries and I was like, it's good for my brain. I think dark chocolate is too. I really like minty stuff either. So I don't know. Whatever. One bite. I'm not gonna spit it out. It gets worse. Oh, all right, let's go. That's barely better than a pay day. Is there? Okay, I think there's a spider whip like on my camera somehow right now. Um, anyways, um, see, I just don't go outside. That is not good. You can barely taste the mint. I don't even know if you can taste the mint because I don't know what I'm looking for because like I don't eat that type of chocolate. It's not minty. <laughs> we'll give that an even four. That is not something I want to eat again. I feel like I wasted like five bucks on that. Oh, five bucks for that chocolate bar. Justin's two dark chocolate almond buttercups, organic. <laughs> Gotta love the organic section of Kroger. I get the dark chocolate smell again when I try this. The almond stuff in the inside is good, but the dark chocolate just is not. I don't like dark chocolate. I'm not a dark chocolate guy. So I'm gonna give this a four. Nine. We're gonna go on to the Jello gummies. I'll try one of each flavor too. I didn't know that they made these either. They're like interesting. They're like kind of like the um, lifesaver gummies, but these don't connect. Swirl, I guess. There's a red one. They're stale. Like they're like harder to chew. Like lifesavers are supposed to be something you chew and like they're good. We're gonna go with the green one. That one's more chewy. Maybe I had a bad one. Berry blue. The green one was lime, and the red one is strawberry. So going on to the berry blue one. Oh okay. yeah. So I have different ratings for each one. The strawberry one, I'm gonna give a 7.3. The berry blue one, I'm gonna give a eight, solid, like an even eight. And then the lime one, I'm gonna give a six, nine. It's like barely worse than the strawberry one, but it's like good. So it's like the strawberry one is barely better, not barely worse. So that's not, yeah, y'all know what I'm saying. I'm gonna save these for later for sure. All these candies kind of blow so far. I just got Carson though, my roommate. Um, he wants to try this uh, one, so. It's coming out. But these chocolates so far have like blown. Like none of them are good. What is up? This chocolate bar right here, it's called the Hue. Is that how you pronounce it, Hue? I have no idea. Right, it's like <laughs> H-U, um, so I assume it's Hue. But it says, get back to human. Yeah. Nut butter filled hazel butter. He loves his nut butter. I really don't. This was like a $6 chocolate bar in a small. So it comes in this and then it comes in that. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> so it's even smaller. It does, that literally makes no yeah. sense. What was your favorite so far? So far? Yeah. Um, I like these. No way. Yeah. That's cool, actually. You want to try them? Yeah, I like the blue ones the best. Yeah, that's what I was going for. <laughs> blue is best in everything. Why aren't they connected? Yeah, no, that's what I was saying. It's <laughs> like, yeah. Trying to be different. What do you rate that? A seven, eight. Yeah, that's pretty much what I gave it, because I gave each flavor a ring. Of course you did. Moving on to the hazelnut, butter, whatever, whatever. This looks like a thick chocolate butter. Like my women? <laughs> like your women. <laughs> thick and chocolatey. You like your women thick and chocolatey? They know who they are. Cheers. It's mid. <laughs> mid at best. It's like nothing that I'd try to get. I wouldn't pay six bucks for it. Yeah, this is not worth six bucks. I don't know why this costs six dollars. That's not worth it at the all. The inside's like chewy. Yeah, it's like hazelnut. Where'd it get those things? I'm not with hazelnut. Yeah, it's hazelnut crunch. Yeah. I don't get the crunch. I bet a bunch of people like hearing the name will probably think it tastes like Nutella. It really doesn't. It's yeah, just never like had straight it. up hazelnuts in there. How can you not have Nutella? I'll do a food review thing with Nutella for like a short. Or Yo, something. five likes and Pete's gonna try Nutella. I have one more. Selbaron. <laughs> Holbron. He told me to get these. Switzerland. I've had I've had this before, but it's been years, and I don't remember how it tastes. I remember I liked it, but I don't remember like why I liked it. So let's see. When's the last time you had one of these? Um, February twenty eighth. 
pretty good. That isn't such a There's like a certain way you're supposed to break it. Break it? No. What do you mean, though? That's what you think. I'm pretty sure it's like. Never mind. There's a certain way that's <laughs> not like that. I don't know what I meant to do the same thing. Two. <laughs> <laughs> I saw something one time, but I'm the worst person ever at remembering relaying information. Oh yeah, that's fine. This is oh, the oh, oh. That, that's the best one so far. Same. I've been in the thing because this is the last one. I've only had one. Mm. one with a banger. Twist milk chocolate with honey and almond nougat. That's <laughs> how you pronounce it? Nougat. Nougat. Because right here, I was like. I was reading this one like it's dry roast and peanuts, rich caramel, and smooth nugget. <laughs> so I might be wrong too, but I know you're definitely wrong. I've never had an almond joint all day. No, I, it's not good. So you're gonna have some people coming at you for saying that. I'm gonna clear everything up. Almond joys are good. Almond joys are ass. Peach is very particular about things. You don't like coconut, do you? No. Yeah. So you're not. Oh, gonna actually, like yeah, it. I do. Yeah, I do. Because I like my favorite. My favorite Girl Scout cookies used to be uh, Samoa. Samoa, yeah. Well, why don't you like almond oil? I don't know, they just suck. I love them, but I think I, I spit always, it out. I always give them to my dad. I spit something out. Yeah, I see it. That's gross. I forgot to rate that. What's that called? Pulver? Don't steal it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only one I actually like enjoy. Silver room. That's, that's getting a 9 2 from me. Yeah, that's getting a 9 7. Anyways, this has been a review of underrated slash chocolate that people sleep on. Bad slash. Bad. Yeah, you can have that. You can have. Let's go. You can have pretty much any of this. Can I show my Crocs? Oh yeah, I'll show you this These are a bunch of foods. Sin nudes. Animal one. There's Gary. Very nice. What's up? Those Crocs are rated a 10. This has been a Chip and Pete review. All right, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this review oh. of my chocolate Halloween stuff because it's Halloween in like two days. I will see you guys next week slash this week slash because I keep uploading YouTube shorts and I'm just going to keep doing that about like random foods I eat. I'll see you guys, whatever I said. Peace.